Results calendar. Uh, this is free, and volatility skew is only for pro members. Just to be yeah sure. Uh, and here calendars, uh, you can go and check the calendar. This is the results announcement. Just for an example, twenty fourth, twenty fourth January. Just as an example. Yeah. So if you check on twenty fourth February, sorry yeah. January, you can see these are the. upcoming results on that particular day okay so people can use uh, strategies or they can uh, uh, if we are in existing strategies they can exit if they don't want to take any risk so it will give you <clears throat> information what are the upcoming results uh, on any particular dates for example if i am somebody i want to track i want to know when is the maruti result for example so i can simply search for it and it will say the next one is 25th january mm. okay so like that i can find uh, uh, for that particular stock and you can you know do whatever you want you know there's so many things people do uh, around results right they buy futures they buy calls they short straddles uh, I know they buy long strangles. It could be anything, but this will help you in finding when to start these things, or when to exit these strategies, or how to devise your strategies and all those things. Another another thing is that if you want to know around what time the results are announced. In fact, this is the most interesting feature because every time yeah. whenever there is a result to be declared, people ask what is the time. So yeah, around what one time? One of the companies. Declare what time they are going to announce the results. So this is a uh, section where it shows the time they had declared results in the past so many quarters. Yes. So usually what happens is that if a company keeps on announcing during market hours in the past four quarters, there's a high chance that they are going to announce also during market hours. Right. For example, Maruti. If you look at Maruti, they have never announced uh, during uh, post market hours. And this Unless, is always after after one one thirty p.m. So after yeah, second half. Yeah, exactly. So you can you know devise your strategy, you know short volatility strategy, for example, accordingly, right? Right. And if something you know after post market, let's say Reliance. Reliance is always post market, yeah. So we will know. So always it's post market. Yeah. So you know to avoid any you know. the gap risk if there is anything associated with reliance which it might because you know they can announce you know huge uh, uh results and has a big impact on nifty also so knowing this timings can be helpful to you know design your strategies accordingly so this is all the way from uh, which year uh... we have from 2016 Oh, 14, okay, so 13. 13. So yeah. almost nine yeah. years. That means thirty-six quarters. Yeah. So okay. huge information is there. So this is uh, something interesting we show. So as you can see, you get everything here. You don't have to, you know, worry about what happened or. We we'll also know when it was previously announced or uh, the one which you have checked. So yeah, in fact, this is also helpful. What happens when? Uh, how is the price action on that day? So you can go to the chart of twenty first yeah. January. Uh, yes. I mean, for whichever stock is uh, Reliance yeah. is only Friday, so that's not a correct example. So for example, here this is a chart. We show IV. What happened to IV? Hmm. And what happened to the stock? Right. So both these are for free, right? Uh, results calendar and uh, historical results. Yeah, these are free. Yeah. So historical results, you know, it's the same thing, but you know, it's more uh, stock wise. So because these are recently added, yeah, so there's uh, no results are not tracked yet for them. Okay. Thank you.